Hey everybody, I'm Sean. Welcome back to the channel. So one of my uh, viewers asked me to do an in-depth uh, look at connecting the ATEM streaming bridge to the ATEM Mini Pro series of switchers. So we're going to do that. Uh, let's uh, switch over to the PC here. First thing that you're going to do is launch your ATEM setup. So it's going to find your ATEM streaming bridge and any of your switches that are on the network. If you're not connected to the network, you'll want to plug the USB-C into your ATEM streaming bridge and into your computer and open up your ATEM setup software. And we're going to click uh, this icon right here to enter the setup. Now, you can name your streaming bridge anything you want, just to give it an actual name. So if you have multiple streaming bridges on the network, you can tell them apart. Then you can set DHCP or a static IP address. Uh, usually, you have a router or a DHCP server in the building that's going to give you an address. So this is where you might need to come find that address. So this is all just standard. This is pulling from DHCP. The servers are telling it. This is your IP address. This is your net mask. This is your gateway to the internet and your DNS servers. If you scroll down, you have streaming service. And you're going to broadcast from the local network without a streaming key. So that means anybody can technically take over your stream. Local network with a key. Or if you have the streaming bridge outside of the same network um, in a completely different location, you can go from the internet. So what we're going to do is we're going to do local network with a key. And uh, here's the randomly generated key that it's assigned. And if you click the key button, it will create a new key. Down here we have some reference timing that you can make some adjustments to. And you can factory reset your ATEM streaming bridge. So we have our key. But let's come over here to the external ATEM Mini Pro setup. As you can see, we have our platform is the streaming bridge, our server, uh, and this is this is using its own internal name. Our key and the quality of streaming that we're going to do. So you can pick from hyperdeck high, medium, low streaming high, medium, low. And then from there, you're just going to click Save ATEM Settings. And we're just going to come to the desktop. And we're going to name this whatever we want. I'm going to call it Local with Key and Save. So now I have the file on the desktop. And we're just going to save here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hop on over to the ATEM Mini Pro that I'm going to be streaming from. So right now I'm on my ISO. And I'll switch that over to my Pro. Okay, so here we are with the ATEM Mini Pro. And we're going to go to the live stream. And platform, we do see a streaming bridge, but we're going to come up to the stream menu and load stream settings. Go to the desktop and local with key. So now that actually shows up as my ATEM streaming bridge one connection. If the ATEM streaming bridge is on the network, and then you open up your ATEM Mini uh, Pro control software, it is going to see it on the same network. So all you have to do is 
come to this list and pick your ATEM streaming bridge. But since we have a file that we configured, we're going to use that. As you can see, it pulled in our streaming key. We only have one server available, and our quality is uh, streaming high. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch you over and I'm going to go on air and now you are watching the streaming bridge from this camera. So the audio is off. Uh, you're still listening to me on my primary camera and I am bringing this camera into my A10 Mini Pro. I am streaming from the A10 Mini Pro to the streaming bridge and I have that as a source on my ISO. So that's really it. That is how you set up the streaming bridge and configure it for your software. If you're going to do uh, anything over the internet, let's switch back over to the computer here. Disable that. Okay, so we're off the air. Really free to make changes here. Hop back into the configuration. And if we were over the internet, You're just going to do the same exact thing. You're going to you're going to change your platform here to internet. You are going to generate your key. The streaming bridge is going to detect your external internet IP and it's going to tell you the port number. Now, what you are going to need to do is wherever you are using the streaming bridge, port 1935 is going to have to be opened and configured on the firewall to allow access from the outside world into the streaming bridge. So that's something that you might need uh, the assistance of uh, an IT professional for. From there, all you're going to do is uh, save that and you're going to come Again, back over to the external ATEM Mini Pro. And you are going to save your ATEM settings. Once you've done that, you're going to hop back over to your ATEM control software, go to stream, load your streaming settings, I'll load the internet, which should bring up uh, another one here. Or I think that just took over. Um, now, after you have all these custom streams in your ATEM control software, you can come over here to stream and remove all your imported settings. And that takes out your streaming bridge. Let's just load in that back in just to see what happens here. And it's just called the ATEM streaming bridge. And uh, if I try to go on the air now because I don't have port 1935 open on the firewall and pointed to the streaming bridge, I am not going to be able to stream. You can see that it's flashing red. It cannot establish that connection. So you can't just throw the streaming bridge out anywhere you want and expect it to automatically discover and allow everything through the firewall. Again, uh, I can't go over that because uh, every firewall is going to be different and you're probably going to need the help of an IT professional to get that ported in. Uh, there are lots of directions on your specific firewall uh, that are out on the internet, on YouTube somewhere, 
that uh, all you need to do is get that one particular I, uh, port number pointed to the IP address that has been given locally to the ATIM streaming bridge. So if you can get that done, uh, this should work no problem. If you have any questions, uh, please put them in the comments. Also like and subscribe and hit that notification bell uh, so you'll be notified when I post future videos.